what's up guys uh got my hour or actually 40 minutes left of uh being outside direct size i wanted to show you guys el estadio the stadium where all the sporting events and everything happens and also all the um extra curricular activities i guess you can call it happens if you want to do any kind of sports or join any kind of group or club uh, this is a good place to come and check it out but before i go for the walk and show you guys around i just want to give you all a little tip so this is my bike i'm locking it up and i have this kind of lock here a kryptonite i highly suggest if you guys come to medellin and get a bicycle uh, to get a lock like this okay because i'm going to leave my bike here as i walk around and that thing is almost almost impenetrable uh, you get a normal lock like a chain lock those things get snapped really quick bike theft here is very common so i just paid the extra money and i got a good lock so that's tip number one but um over there over there is the uh, the outdoor gym um i already showed you guys in another video of what it looks like and what it contains uh if you haven't seen that video i'll link it up top it's the video called uh, are they rebelling here in colombia so i'll put the link up top and i'll make a link down down there as well in the description so let's go ahead and go for the walk i'm going to show you guys around the stadium all right let's do it so right there normally in normal times there's a water feature with those and it has all the flags around we'll walk by there in a bit but i want to take you all this way first all right stadium especially on sundays normal during the normal times on a sunday it's, it will be packed okay because uh when else come on <laughs> because uh here in colombia in medellin medellin is known as uh the fitness capital of colombia and sunday is like the day of like to to relax to get out get outside get some exercise and you come here on sundays normal days it'll be jam-packed with people doing uh aerobics uh zumba all that kind of stuff it's really cool and it's all free uh, the outdoor activities on sunday so you can show up join in have a great time meet people it's a great place to be all right we got some boxing going on over here i might bring my gloves and join them that's good so right here this is the coliseum of combate Col coliseo de combate the coliseum of combat so basically if you guys want to get involved in kind of martial arts or boxing or kickboxing or judo uh karate taekwondo whatever you name it it's all here uh, another day i'll come when it's when it's open i'll go inside and i can show you guys how it is like the groups and everything i i joined one time the judo group uh for a day and they kicked my butt the next day man i was so sore uh i would have kept it going but i got a bad lower back and i was afraid to get snapped but um if you guys are interested in this kind of stuff there it is all right let's go for the walk ah the lovely smell smell of marijuana in there that's one thing here in colombia to smoke marijuana in public it's it's it's, it's legal but you can only have a certain amount a very small amount on you if you have over that small amount then you can get in big trouble buenas que mas todo bien 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 Over here, we got like a skate park, BMX. Uh, as you can see, these guys are pretty good at what they do. So if you guys like that kind of stuff, here you go. Que mas? Perdón? Ah, no, no tengo, perdón. No, no, no tengo efectivo. Chao. They're asking for a drink, soda. But I didn't bring any cash. I literally just brought my cédula and this camera. So, what can you do? All right guys, so now we're coming up to the Coliseo de Volleyball. So this is where they play volleyball. So again, every little Colise Coliseum has a different thing. So this is all about vo volleyball. If you guys like indoor volleyball, you can join here. They have, uh, everything has teams, groups, and and places that you can join so i'm gonna try to this place is gigantic this El estadio so i'm gonna go to each coliseum and kind of just point out what, what's what's here uh for more information for you guys i mean when you guys come and you want to like i like i mentioned one of my videos 
uh, that thing's gonna come out in a bit. How to make friends here in Medellin. A uh, great way to do it is joining like a group, like a sports group, you know, and everything. So, or dance or whatever. So the other cool thing about the, the stadium during the nighttime, like around from five o'clock, whatever, this place will be packed with people doing all kinds of stuff. Even like freestyle dancing, hip hop, break dance, uh, cheerleading, anything you can think of that's like active, it's here. So they'll be out here in the middle of these uh, aisles, just doing that kind of stuff. So here, here's the Coliseum of basketball. So all about indoor basketball. You know, if you like that stuff, come and join. So, all right. Right now it's empty because you know what's going on, but in normal times, this place is packed all the time. So they have a lot of these uh, outdoor uh, stores here that have food and drinks and stuff that you can eat. A great kind of fruits and all kinds of stuff. So here's the Coliseum of Gymnastics. So I can't really show you indoors, but it's fully equipped for gymnastics. All right, so now we're getting to the stadium. This is the stadium where they have the football, the soccer events here. And right now we're in, this is the one hour of uh, exercise. So here, people are going around the loop and doing, the, doing their exercises. I'll take you around the loop in a bit, if I have time, if I have time. But let's walk over here and check it out. So again, more stalls for food and drinks. Let's go over here. It's like a bicycle shop. We got the outdoor football, the soccer field. Here I am, man. I've been in Columbia for so long, I'm calling soccer football. <laughs> and I'm from Texas, man. I'm, Texas is a football state, you know, American football. And here I'm calling soccer football. Come on. Soccer. This is the outdoor soccer field. <laughs> and we're getting to the uh the outdoor track and field. Let's see. I have a friend, uh, he's from Holland here that lives here. And he actually uh, joined the Olympic track team, the Olympic uh, sprinting team, to train with them. Not because he's a good runner, he just wanted to train and become a better one. He went up to the coach and asked him, you know, do you know of any trainers that would that would take me on? And he's like, I'll take you on. And it happened to happened to be the uh, uh, Colombian Olympic coach for for the 100 yard dash that he was talking to. So for a full, I think two months he trained with them, it was pretty sweet. That's the other benefit about here in Colombia. I mean, when, when would that happen in the States? You show up and you can train with the Olympic uh, sprinting team in the States. Never, like a random guy off the street. No, but here in Colombia, it's possible. So here we go, the track. Got this, so basically Estadio, like I said, has pretty much everything you want when it comes to sports. Ah. When it comes to sports and activities, you can find it here and find the group to, to join. But I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I wanted to do Olympic Olympic weightlifting here. And uh, I talked to one of the coaches here. I think it was, I think he was also probably the Olympic, not the Olympic trainer for the Olympic weightlifting. And he said, yeah, come on. But I didn't go again. I got a bad back. I, I, I uh, hurt my lower back lifting weights in the gym. I was afraid to make it worse so I just didn't do it. Didn't want to embarrass myself. <laughs> but you guys out there, if you guys are really into that kind of stuff, boxing, kickboxing, whatever, you can join the team and like just train with them. You don't have to be competitive. They'll they'll take you on, you know, if they have space and time. All right, let's go do a loop around the uh around the stadio. So it looks like Right here is for bikes, bicycles to go by. And here on this side is all about jogging and walking. So there's a whole lot more people out here in Estadio than over there in Parque Rio. Parque Rio is like maybe 20 people out, but here there's a lot of people out. Huh. I 
I'm gonna jog for a little bit guys and I'll come back to y'all in a bit. I would take y'all over there. That's where the, the Olympic pools are and everything, but it's all closed off. Where I, if I went over there, you wouldn't see nothing. So, but over there is all about Olympic swimming. Here's the stadium. The entrance, the main entrance. I've been here for over four years. I have not yet been to a football game yet or a soccer game. It's crazy. Alright. I'm gonna jog some more guys. So guys, they even have outdoor volleyball here in the stadium. So like I said, man, they got a little everything here. Uh they have a a place also that is closed. I couldn't I can't take y'all right now, but it's a whole uh, how can I say it? It's a huge place that's filled with ping pong tables. It's for the ping, the ping pong team, but anybody can go. You can even rent a, a ping pong paddle and the ball. Uh, two paddles and a ball is like 4,000 pesos, a dollar. And you can stay there all day long and play ping pong. It's freaking awesome. All right, let's check it out. I'm going to cross this while getting hit. <laughs> yeah, it's hazardous here. It's hazardous, guys. I'm wait for this, people. Let's cross. All right, back to jogging. You guys probably already saw my update video on, on the extension here in Colombia. I was extended to the end of the month and everything. Um, it's crazy, man. Now, I feel like a hamster in the wheel going, going in circles here. You know, so I'm gonna walk back to my bike, maybe get some reps in on the bench press in the outdoor gym. It's uh, 2.43, so about 17 minutes left to get back home. And uh, yeah, so the extension happened in Colombia and all that good stuff so if you haven't seen my video on the update uh, it's titled surprise surprise right uh, another extension here in colombia so what do you expect you know well the rest of the world is open up but but i heard that uh, uh chile santiago uh, they let people out, out of the lockdown they let people out they, they stopped the quarantine and guess what they had to go back into quarantine so that's the worst man giving freedom and then that freedom taken back from you Check out this. This is usually filled up with water and uh, water coming up and everything. It's beautiful. But, uh, and I think I heard France. It happened in France as well. Uh, they let them out of the quarantine and then had to put them right back in. So, hopefully, hopefully here in Colombia, they're actually doing a, uh, the right thing of keeping us in lockdown. That way, I don't know, when we get out, they won't put us back in. This is me staying positive and thinking positive because Otherwise, I'm, I'll go crazy and just get really uh, jaded against everything. So, walking back to the gym. And I have 15 minutes. I want to go get me some reps on the bench press and uh, head home. But I'll come back on. I'll show you more of the gym in a bit. Uh, just in case you haven't seen the other video. So, check it out here, guys. They're playing volleyball with their feet. The soccer ball. So the best people I've ever seen playing that game was in Brazil. Brazil, they're freaking amazing. Here they're doing all right. Yeah, and the beach in Brazil, man, they know how to play. All right, so here's the gym. See if I can get some reps in and head home. All right. One nice, come on. Yeah. So there's the calisthenics and the weights over there. There's the weights. Yeah. All right, guys. Talk to you on a bit. Check this out, guys. So the weights have chains, right? So not only are you lifting the weight that's here, but you got chain action too for extra. People get pretty, pretty jacked here. Working on this, uh, this simple equipment, they get jacked. All right. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the little tour of Estadio. I know you guys like better the uh, walking tours. Again, like I said, once the restrictions are gone and they stop freaking extending the lockdowns, you guys are gonna get some awesome videos from me of walking around all of Medellin. I'll probably leave really early in the morning and not come home until late at night 
and just keep on filming and keep on generating contact content for you guys uh grind hard right so yeah we'll see what happens this year 2020 hopefully it stops being a year that sucks right and it starts getting better right so they say you can only go down so far right so hopefully we hit the bottom it's only you know going back up all right guys so if you like this video let me know in the comments like subscribe comment you know share the video and uh, give me your input give me your suggestions where y'all want to see more did you like this what do you you know what do you want to know about in colombia your questions all that kind of stuff so y'all take care stay safe i got six minutes to get home so i'm gonna jump on my bike and head home all right y'all take care